Today I'm showing you the top 20 finds at Home Goods this week. This is something you would definitely see at CB2 for like $2,000. They have it here for $6.99. I don't know what I love most about this lamp, the price or the style. There are so many designer looks for less in this video. It is jam packed with it. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back. Today I'm showing you the top 20 finds at Home Goods this week. Some might be like categories of items, like if I find multiple of the same item that I love. I just want to show you all of my top finds at Home Goods this week. These are all items that you could potentially find at a Home Goods near you. There are so many designer looks for less in this video. It is jam packed with a ton of fun finds and information and decorating ideas. So I hope you guys are excited because we're going to jump in. Woven items to me always feel very designer. They give me big like Pottery Barn vibes or Serena and Lily. And I also love floor lamps. I feel like people forget about floor lamps. People get so like hung up on table lamps, but floor lamps can really change the entire feel of a room. And I really, really love this one. This is from like the Made in Vietnam collection. How much is this? This is 129. It's like a really, really thick base that's completely woven. And then look at this awesome big shade. I feel like you can't really get like the full feel of how large this is. This is so nice. And I love the oatmeal color of it. This floor lamp has a ton of presents and to me feels really, really expensive. I'm a huge fan of this and I want to show you some of the other floor lamps. Stop. I thought I liked the last one, but look at this one. This is from Karma Home. This is only $79.99. This has everything a designer lamp would have. It has the brass detailing, also with like the woven detailing kind of like mixed in just to give it a little bit more texture. It has right here this like adjustable, you can adjust the angle on here in two different ways. So you can adjust it here and kind of like point that up more you can have this bent down more there's a lot you can do with this look at the scalloped edge on this lamp this would be so perfect for like a nursery or if you just have that like coastal grand millennial style i cannot believe this lamp this is so good. I don't know what I love most about this lamp, the price or the style. Totally different style, but I also really like this one. It has this metal base. It's like a solid kind of like cast iron and it's a little bit more industrial. It has this like burlap shade. I feel like you could definitely change the shade out as well. Like if you wanted a more like modern industrial, you could change this out to like a crisp white, but I really, really like this one. It is solid. feels like really good quality this one is 129 and the brand is details by harp and finial that's funny the name of the company because they must only make lamps because a harp and a finial are the two things that make up the top of the lampshade like this is the harp and that is the finial or finial. I never know if I'm saying it right. I really like the kind of like regal executive office feel of this one. This is by Tommy Hilfiger. This is 129. It has the brass details mixed into like the cherry wood. Like I feel like if you have like a more traditional office or if you do like a coastal style, it's kind of giving me like coastal, almost like antique ship vibes, if that makes any sense at all. Really love the crisp lampshade with the brass details. This is so nice. Here is another lamp from that same company but look at this one it has like a three almost like candelabra look that is so cool look at the details of the base and down here at the bottom oh my gosh this one is so unique all right next i want to look at mirrors they have a lot of new mirrors that have come in that are so great this is the first one they have a lot of the big like floor mirrors over in the furniture section look at the wavy design of this one how fun is that this is like a nice wooden frame this one is 2.99 from rachel zoe it is huge this is 40 by 80. i feel like a lot of times with floor length mirrors that you purchase online like sight unseen if you get more height like if it's an 80 inch height you lose a lot in the width and I don't like super tall skinny mirrors I like ones that if it's gonna be big like I wanted to have a ton of presents so absolutely love these this one is $2.99 definitely like a more funky design if you're more like anthropology vibes I feel like that would be fun this one is super nice as well I really like the shape of the top and this one is also $2.99 and it has a nice brass frame this one is also 40 by 80 so some great options and i'm seeing a few of this one specific gold mirror here's another fun option from nautica home this one is 249 this one is 34 by 80 so again you get that great height um and it's 34 inches so not too skinny i feel like typically with the 80 inch mirrors they're like 30 inches and that is just too small this has again a really really pretty 
wooden, like thick wooden frame all around it, which gives it a really expensive look. This mirror from Tahari is so fun. If you love silver, you will love this. It's kind of like the anthropology mirror, but in silver, which I don't even think they make. I think they only make it in gold, like the gleaming primrose mirror, whatever it's called. That one's also like $1,300. This one is 400. This one is 48 by 84. This is a mirror and the price on this is really, really good for the size. Tahari is a really, really great brand here. So if you have been looking for like the style of the gleaming primrose mirror, but you're more of a cool toned silver person, this is the mirror for you. This mirror has such a designer look at a really great price tag. I am starting to shop for our master bedroom makeover, so I am looking at some of these mirrors for us. Really like this one. It's that same shape we were just looking at, but in black for $2.99. This shagreen cabinet just cannot be ignored. This is $6.99. It is gorgeous. This is a really great entryway or media console. It is a really, really beautiful shagreen material, and it also has it on the handles look how nice that is this is from style by jamie young like i said it is 6.99 and it has really really great storage on the inside that does go all the way to the ends here this is such a gorgeous cabinet at pottery barn or like cb2 i feel like this is something you'd see at cb2 because it's a little bit more modern if you didn't know cb2 is like a sister brand or the baby brand of crate and barrel and i feel like it's more like modern hip trendy type items and this is something you would definitely see at cb2 for like two thousand dollars they have it here for 6.99 this material is very popular right now i feel like it's similar to how like boucle was super popular in 2023 and 2022 chagrin has definitely worked its way up in the rankings here is another chagrin item this one's actually on clearance and this is a cool tone gray chagrin this is a desk has some really really great storage and some nice silver legs with like a super nice chair this would be perfect for an office i wouldn't recommend using this like i love to use a desk as like a vanity getting ready space but the shagreen material can be kind of porous so i wouldn't do anything like crafty or arts or makeup or anything on this type of material desk would be a great like writing desk or homework desk if you have a little interior designer in the making this is super nice for 149 okay i know this isn't going to be everyone's style this is actually on clearance but i do just want to show it because someone could see this and be like oh my god that's the mirror of my dream someone who has like a more eclectic style so i just want to show it because it's on clearance i think it's really cool it has a ton of presents if you don't like the coral color these things can be fixed you could um spray paint it and then rub it down with rub and buff and give it like a really expensive vintage look and this is 200 so i know it's not gonna be everyone's style but i thought it was really cool and i wanted to point it out if you are looking for smaller mirrors they have endless options over in the mirrors aisle those big ones i was just looking at you can typically find by the front door like of the store or in the furniture section at least at my home goods that i shop at they're all like that but the smaller ones there's great ones hidden over in the mirror aisles well i shouldn't say hidden because they're aisles specifically for mirrors but this is where you can find all different shapes and sizes my next favorite find at home goods are baskets and you can find baskets in a few different places you can find baskets in the like office organization section as well as in the kitchen section so i want to show you my favorite baskets at home goods right now in both of those sections so you know exactly where to look for whatever you need they have aisles of baskets in the closet and organization section organized by like color and size the one that is immediately catching my attention i have to show you this basket right here from tommy bahama this scallop detailing they just put this out <laughs> i watched them like put it out on a cart and i just waited patiently this comes in four different sizes so the smallest one being right here how absolutely adorable is this this would be a great little like waist bin or a toy bin and then the next size up I think would be a really good hamper for like a children's room oh it comes in five different sizes oh my goodness you can see all five right here they literally just put this out the largest one being this one and this is only $34.99 this is a steal this is a huge, huge, huge basket. Like, let me show you compared to my hand. Absolutely massive. You could use it for like pillows and blankets. You could fit so many pillows and blankets. I cannot stress to you how large the largest size of this basket is. 
Holy moly, I cannot believe that this style of basket is that affordable. At Pottery Barn, this basket would easily be over $150. The prices range on this, the smallest being $12.99, then it goes up to $16.99, $19.99, $25.99, dollars $24.99. I cannot believe it. I know I've said it so many times, but I just love it. I love the scallop detailing. I love the kind of like checkered weaving pattern below that and it comes in so many sizes. Make sure you're looking in all of the baskets because to save space, they will hide baskets inside of each other. So like this isn't actually a set. There's different baskets that are kind of like hidden down in here. You can find really fun baskets mixed in here as well. Like this one that says toys, perfect for toys. It's embroidered and this goes for $39.99. This one is huge. I just knocked over this one, but that's fine because I wanted to show you this basket that's inside. Look at the bunny ears, so cute. This is $14.99, absolutely perfect for Easter. And I also love the basket that is right below it. It'd be perfect for an entryway table. You could do like shoes in there, also pillows and blankets in a living room setting. Love that one. This actually has a lift top. How nice is that? Oh my goodness, and there's an even smaller one inside. There's a ton of great baskets today. There are some really fun baskets behind me, and these always remind me of the more high-end stores like Crate and Barrel and Pottery Barn because they always have really fun baskets like these. Perfect for like toys and books. You could also use it as a hamper. And this one is shaped like a giraffe. Oh, they have a unicorn. Look at this little unicorn basket. That is adorable. Look at like the little details on top, the horn and the little hair. This is from WH Home and this is 70. So definitely more expensive but still less than what you'd find at a designer store this one is 50 how adorable oh no this one's actually 40 sorry that's 39.99 but my favorite one of all <laughs> this is just the cutest it's like a house shaped basket and there's another one inside so i have to take this down and show you stop inside there was this little pink shaped house it has a door on the front and then little windows. <laughs> I can't take it. It's so cute. It has windows on each side. Obsessed. And then here is the cream. Oh my goodness. I am beyond, beyond obsessed with these baskets. This one has a little door on the front as well. The large size of this house basket is $40 and I feel like that is such a steal. If you're looking for a super large basket, you have to come to Home Goods. This one, I, I need the measurements of it. It is absolutely huge. Here it is compared to my hand. This would be the ultimate basket for like pool toys or like pool storage, that sort of thing. You could do like separate baskets in here and do like towels and pool activities and floats, that sort of thing. It's absolutely massive. This one would also be great for it. This is also like a really great couch basket. This one is $50. It has a lid. You could use this like if you need something that like doubles as storage but also is functional. This could be a really good coffee table. Like this is pretty stable on top. You could definitely like put a coaster and set a drink down on top. Um, but this is a really, really great storage basket for indoors or outdoors. And this is $50 at any other store, high-end stores, it would be in the hundreds. I can't stop looking at this house basket. Like I think I have to put it in my cart. <laughs> Even more perfect for outdoors are these like plasticky materials. This again has a lid, it's backwards. You can actually like, see the little hinges right here. This is 60, but it has a lid it has a ton of storage and this is a really great all-weather material here is another example of that comes with a lid comes in several different sizes typically there are smaller ones hidden inside if people haven't already bought them but there are just so many amazing baskets so many different sets this one is two-tone they have round options they have options with black and white there is a basket for absolutely everybody at home goods so this as i mentioned is just one place to find great baskets here at home goods now let me go show you where the rest of the baskets are hidden if you are looking for smaller storage baskets typically in this kitchen section normally along a back wall at least at my home goods there are a ton so many smaller storage options really well priced this one is $7.99 these are great for pantry organization I'm looking for some for Bryn's toy kitchen she got a ton of new food and a new toy kitchen over the last like month this is really fun. I could write like groceries, like you could write something on there. Or if you have a pantry, you could do like kids snacks, like you could write on it. 
they just have so many that one has handles that is super nice but there's just so many different options different weaving styles you can also find different colors like here is like a whitewash woven and they have that in a few different styles so if you're looking for smaller baskets make sure you're checking over here in the kitchen section my next top home goods finds are photo frames of any and all sizes and styles i have gotten really small photo frames here like for four by six pictures and i've also gotten large sets of like 20 by 30 photo frames for giant wall murals and really easy like DIY wall art this is my go-to always for picture frames they are super well priced they have a ton of different styles and the quality of them is really really good so let me show you some of my favorite photo frames the aisles are always completely stocked some that are really sticking out to me this is the genuine bone photo frame they have a lot of these but i just love this material i feel like this material screams high end we will probably see some of this over in the decor section but i just feel like it screams high end and that photo frame or picture frame is only 7.99 i'm also a sucker for the gold frames and right now the kind of vintagey frames are very in they have so many of these and several different shapes as you can see these kind of look like that gleaming primrose mirror like a very anthropology style anthropology does sell picture frames they are a lot more than $6.99 but they have a ton of these like vintagey frames <gasps> stop I didn't see this one. This would have been so perfect for Bryn's first birthday. We did lots of like butterflies everywhere. This is $7.99. So, so adorable for a little girl or a little girl's room. I am always a sucker for a thin gold frame and this one's really, really pretty. I love how it has like the easel on the back. I think this would be really great for Brian's desk or like the shelves in our new office space. But this fits a f up to five by seven. So if you do a four by six, that's how you'll get the clear on either side really really love this I'm a sucker for a thin gold frame this is only $5.99 I just think it has such a high-end look I really like this one as well it's kind of like a step design like it has this ribbed and then it is like the solid brass all the way around that's only $4.99 I really like the square shape I feel like that's pretty unique it's hard to find square shape frames sometimes they're mostly rectangular but look at all of these options, like those nice floral options back there. There's truly something for everybody. Here are some of the larger frames. And I wanna get into the larger sizes that you can find here. Like, look at this beautiful frame with the matting. This one's definitely a little bit more expensive for home goods. This one's marked at 50. I don't know why this one's marked at 50 because right here they have the exact same frame from the same company, but it's $19.99. So I would probably ask, like, if you were going to buy this one, I would take this one up, like, if you needed two, and ask them if they could price match it, because to me, that seems mismarked. Another thing they have here really often are these gallery wall frame sets. Look at this one. It looks like it is the Chagri material with the brass. That is so so nice this is a three-piece set from marlo glenn we saw a mirror from them earlier in the video this is 29.99 here is another set this is also a three-piece set typically they have more than one so right here they have six so this is 24.99 for the three pieces so you could make that six piece photo frame wall it'd be 50 dollars for the frames and 10 dollars if you print the photos at walgreens you could have a beautiful gallery wall for under $70. This burlwood frame is really pretty. This is $16.99. Look at the gorgeous burlwood detailing. That's really large as well. This is an 11 by 14 matted. And then I think it normally says like what it is unmatted. I always recommend leaving the matting because I just think it makes it look more expensive and more high end so 11 by 14 matted that's a great size and i love the material it's made out of here are a few more gallery wall frames these are actually the ones that we have in our breakfast nook so it's an 8 by 8 set so it's a 12 by 12 but it's matted to an 8 by 8 and that's what we have we left the matting look how nice it is it is so nice and they have really nice black wooden frames this is a set of three where is the price? These are $24.99. And right here they have three sets of them. So I was able to grab three sets and do my entire gallery roll without having to go to another home goods. Here it is in gold. So if you're looking for more of like a gold look. And then look at this set. It's four pieces. You get two different shapes. You get two 16 by 20s matted to an 8 by 10 and two 16 by 16s that are matted to an 8 by 8. I really, really like how you get the two different shapes. That is 70. Here is another one by Marlo Glenn. There are just so many. Here's more gold. These are more of like a rectangular look. 
They have so many photo frames. The next thing I always shop for at Home Goods are vases. And this kind of ties into one of the other categories that we were looking at before, like this shagreen material. They have it in a vase and it has really nice like silver detailing. I like the texture on here. It's definitely super modern. This is $34.99. Another one that is really, really textured. It kind of looks like it is made out of like snake skin with the gold. This is actually on clearance for 15. This vase is really pretty and it actually comes with this little top which I think is really neat it's like a nice speckled design I want to pull it out but I'm so scared that this is gonna fall so I'm gonna take that off first because I definitely don't want to break anything this is $34.99 I think this would be really pretty on an entryway table I think it's really cool that it comes with the top you could always take it off if you wanted to put stems inside but I think it's nice to keep it both of these vases I'm obsessed with this one is from Urbana Living I really like that it is not glazed but I don't love like the terracotta feeling I love the shape of this though. It is really, really large. Same with this one. It kind of has this like really pretty braided detailing. This one is 50, this one is 35. Both really, really great options. I will show you a few more vases, but another top home goods find are coffee table books. You can find so many great ones. I've never seen this one here before. This is Curate. It has this really beautiful gray binding with the black lettering. So, so pretty, would be perfect to layer. And then this is one I actually just got. I think I have this, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> in my, office space I need to text my friend because she was with me when I bought my most recent coffee table books because if not I'm gonna need it this is so so pretty this is $24.99 they have a ton of good coffee table books today and also if you can find them in the plastic I always prefer to buy them in the plastic this is my favorite coffee table book of all time this is architectural digest at 100 home goods is the best place to buy this book you won't find it at a cheaper price than home goods has it this is 70 they do have it on pottery barn and on target and I think it's about a hundred dollars so you can save 30 if you can just find it here i searched high and low for this book for months and finally got it they have two so they have this one and i see another one right up there here is another one that's really good you can always like take off i mean i always take these off the little sleeves look at that oh my gosh so chic looking i love the it's like a tan color with the cream writing so so nice this one's also really pretty this is patina homes the cover does not come off of this one so if you're looking to like add in a pop of color that's a really good option and then i also saw another one over here this is a home to share this is another one where the cover does not come off so this is a hard cover so you just have to be okay with it not being completely plain like some of the other ones that we just looked at but these are all really really good options and I always love to have a ton of books on hand to do like different layering stacks because I just think it looks really really nice and super designer so I'm glad to see all of the books that they have today they have so many of these books today so if you've been looking to get your hands on these my home goods has four right now that are still perfectly wrapped in the plastic my next favorite home goods finds are all of the like marble and stone items I swear I come in here like a bloodhound sniffing out all of like the marble and stoneware items because they are just so much more expensive at every other store and the quality of them here is just as good as all of the more expensive stores you just have to be willing to hunt for them so let me show you some of my favorite ones that they have today but all of the marble and stoneware items i want them all this decorative ball is so pretty this is $24.99 it's so heavy this weighs like 25 pounds in my hand but it's so gorgeous they just had it layered in this bowl which I wouldn't layer these together, but that kind of gives you the idea. These decorative balls are super, super nice, and you just never know when you're going to need a decorative sphere. This tray is so, so beautiful. I don't know if this is like a mother of pearl or a capiz shell or just like an iridescent bone inlay. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is a handcrafted in Vietnam piece. Definitely more like coastal vibes, I would say. This would be really beautiful for a bathroom. This is $29.99. I love the bigger tiles on the outside and the smaller tiles on the inside with the brass detailing. It also has a really, really good weight to it. That is such a good find. They do have a matching table right there that matches the tray. So if you love this look, they have a lot of them popping up right now. This is kind of like the globally inspired section so there are lots of like bowls lots of like the made in Vietnam items made in Mexico are all in this one section right now for the summer I am not okay look at this box oh my gosh how much does this weigh 
has a really really good weight to it this is $79.99 it's a beautiful white marble perfect perfect decorative box I love the length of it you can put it in the center of an entry table or a media console absolutely love that here are a few more marble items right here these Tahari home bookends are gorgeous they're all going to be a little bit different because marble is a natural material these are $16.99 love those and then right here similarly they have these tahari marble bowls these are definitely a little bit more expensive this small size is fifty dollars and then the larger size is 70. like i said they are more affordable here but they're still going to be more expensive than you might have thought when you first picked them up but definitely a lot less than if you were to buy them at a more designer store I love this box. Oh my goodness. It's like a leather and then it has the gold over the top. I just love a decorative box. I love a decorative tray. Speaking of, this is kind of a mix of two of the things we were just talking about. So first of all, this is a wooden sphere. So if you like more like organic materials this is really pretty and could be a good thing to have on hand but this tray is really gorgeous you could definitely use this as like um in our kitchen we always have like sliced lemons and sliced limes for water so we always like to have that out this is actually really pretty this is $24.99 I think I'm gonna pick this up because we have been using an old wooden cutting board and I think that this would be perfect we really need something new and fresh because I feel like the wooden ones, they're just like super porous and they're just really old. So I feel like this would hold up super well. And I think it'd be perfect for where I want to put it. If you're more into the silver, silver is definitely popping up a lot more than it did last year. Look at this really beautiful agate tray with the silver details. There's actually two of them stacked right here. This is handmade in India. This is $34.99. This says actually right on it not for food use i should probably check this one and see it says for decorative purpose only well dang it i mean why though <laughs> so i just found this spoon rest that perfectly matches this board that i wasn't gonna get because it's like oh not intended for food use but like how come this one is intended for food use but this one isn't honestly they match i'm getting them there are two of these little marble trays they look pretty different that one's a lot darker than this one these are such great layering pieces hidden in the checkout aisle for only 6.99 absolutely love that here's another little marble bowl they have this marble decorative knot that's really pretty i have some stone decorative knots from here um travertine i feel like those probably all got bought up and they haven't gotten any more in recently i just feel like it all kind of comes in waves but there are so many marble items and this is my favorite place to buy them you can also find lots of marble stone and travertine items in the bathroom section the soap pump is really really gorgeous it's a whole collection so they have like a toothbrush holder or that could be for like toothpaste toothbrush holder right here here's another one another really nice totally different shape stone soap pump this marble and wood toothbrush holder is absolutely gorgeous this is $9.99 I really like this just a little platter it's a nice stone platter it's from DKNY it's only $12.99 so smaller platters like this perfect for soaps and such next to a bathroom sink here are even more marble items so you can find these marble items for all over your home genuine marble this is super nice that's $14.99 they have a little canister that goes with it and a toothbrush holder so definitely be sure that you're checking over here in the bathroom items I know that these aren't stone or marble, but this whole green and gold collection is heart eyes, so pretty. And then here is a like mint green. It kind of looks like marble, but it has actually more of a resin but this is a really pretty color, especially for a bathroom. Next thing I absolutely love are all of the benches, storage benches, end of bed benches for an entryway. These just really dress up a space and I feel like they add a lot of presence. And here you can find a lot of matching sets, so many different styles. Like I said, some have storage, some don't, different colors, no matter what look you are going for. Like here's a whole wall of benches and i love right here they have the bench and then the two matching little like ottomans i feel like you could do a lot with that they also have it in like a seafoam color these gray ones that are 140 have some great storage on the inside so does this yellow one so they have this whole wall and then there's even more here is another aisle 
filled with little ottomans, poofs, and storage benches. I really like this one. I like how it kind of has this shape kind of wrapped and hugged around it. This is 179. It has some great storage on the inside. And it's a really pretty green color. If you like the more woven benches, these can be so pricey. This is 129. It's completely woven on the top it's from osp home furnishings that one is so pretty another one i really like and i think i've like pointed this one out that i liked it before because i just am such a sucker for these spindle legs i think it is just so pretty this is 129 from rachel zoe i'm almost positive that i've talked about this before but clearly i just really like it <laughs> i like these small round legs that they have on a few of these pieces this reminds me a lot of one of the ottomans they have at target here is a similar version this is more square it's not tufted at all it's really really pretty green color and it has those same legs that i love i'm also always searching through the wall art all of the large wall art because these can be so so pricey anywhere else this one's really pretty i love how it's neutral and it has that like gold metallic pop that's really nice this black and white is really cool not my style but i really really like it they truly have like something for everybody these are a lot of like abstract wall art pieces and you can find like more expensive pieces for sure like ones that are even larger and then it'll have like all the artist information i really like this one i like how it has the stripes and then also like tons of texture this is only 80 dollars. i also love the color of the frame here but hidden behind i love this a lot of you're gonna be like what is that it looks like a wet rag in there i just love paper mache art i think it's so cool these are 80 dollars. these are absolutely huge and these are i would say pretty much twins you know they are the same shape on the inside, but these are 80. You guys know, if you've been following me for a long time, I've just always gravitated towards these like shadow box paper mache pieces. I just think they're so cool. I love them so much. This is like the dimensional paper shadow boxes. This one is from the gallery collection. It's 200. They always have them in a couple different patterns though, but I just think they're so cool. Here's another one of those paper mache pieces. This one's definitely like more neutral so so pretty oh this is cool it's like all wood with different shapes and colors this one is all embroidered look how amazing that is it's fully embroidered this shadow box is really pretty i like how it has the linen on the back within like the glass flowers and like the gold detailing this is something you would definitely see at pottery barn i feel like that would be really cute for a kid's room but these shadow box pieces you see a lot at the more high-end stores and while 200 is expensive it is nothing compared to like the five six seven hundred dollars you'd pay for this 30 by 40 size this one's also really pretty i like how neutral it is this is from ink and ivy it is 129 dollars Ooh, I love the black and white with like the burlap. This is from American Home Decor USA. It's 100% hand painted. These are kind of like pasted on just to add like more texture. That is so cool. There's so many great ones. There's just like tons of really good options no matter what you are looking for. Another thing I really enjoy getting from home goods i think they have really really nice designer quality options hotel quality options are towels they have so many different brands you can find like tommy bahama and tommy hilfiger and brooks brothers and so so many brands they have so many different sizes styles you can always find like hand towels and bathroom like uh face cloths and bath towels and large oversized towels that all are gonna match so this is definitely my favorite place to buy towels i actually just found these and i'm gonna pick these up for Bryn. these are like kids towels with hoods i feel like she like outgrew her baby towels with the hoods so we've just been using like normal adult towels but it's really hard to get it to stay on her head so i actually think this is perfect these are so soft these are 12.99 and i'm gonna pick up two of them you can find towels in all color shapes sizes you can find really fun patterns so that's another item that i love and that's one of my top home goods picks there are a ton of home goods top finds about top 20 i would say of course i had a lot of different items in each category but i just wanted to show you what i look for specifically when i go into home goods like literally start to finish so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video as far as like bedding items i really love to buy sheets here i've talked about that a lot before this is my favorite place to buy sheets but the other bedding items like duvet covers or comforters i feel like can be really hit or miss i have gotten a few comforters from here that the first time i wash them they completely fall apart and i've brought back like this completely just like shredded <laughs> 
comforter and returned it because you know I typically wash my bedding before I sleep in it for the first time so I'm just like weary to recommend a ton of their bedding but if you've had a good experience please let me know down below but that is it for today's video I really hope that you guys enjoy my top home goods finds if you guys enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell I love you guys all so much and I'll see you next time bye guys Thank you.